from our previous discussion, we noticed that when a polynomial is divided by a linear factor, the remainder is a constant. So in general, if polynomial Px is divided by x minus a, and the remainder is a constant. So, Px is going to be equal to the portion, which is q of x times x minus a plus r, remainder. So we know that the remainder is going to be a constant because the remainder have a lower degree than x minus a. So x minus a is the first degree. So in order to have a lower degree, so r, the remainder has to be 0 degree. So the remainder should be a constant. So now what is going to happen if we evaluate p of a? So we could, uh, we could write p of a would be equal to a minus a times q of a plus r. So well, a minus a is 0. So for any value of q of a, if you are going to multiply it by 0, then all of this is going to be 0. So p of a is going to be equal to r. And so you are done. This is the proof of the polynomial remainder theorem. Again, the definition, the remainder theorem. When a polynomial Px is divided by a linear factor, x minus a, then the remainder r should be equal to p of a. Okay, let's go to the example. So this is the example one. Use the remainder theorem to find the remainder when 2x to the power of 3 minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7 is divided by a, x minus 2 and b is 2x plus 1. So let's go one by one. So first, let px equal to 2x to the power of 3 minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7. So, from the remainder theorem, the, the, remainder, uh, the polynomial remainder theorem tells us that if I take a polynomial p of x and if I were to divide it by x minus a, hence, the remainder of that is just equal to p of a. So now, for the first question, the polynomial is divided by x minus 2. So what is our a? So, well, in this example, a is equal to positive 2 because we just compar comparing these two things. So we know that a is equal to 2. Or maybe you can make it equal to 0 to get the value of a, which is x minus 2 equal to 0, then x is equal to 2. That would be the same. You will get the value of a is equal to 2. So to figure out the remainder, we just have to evaluate p of 2. So let's just do that. p of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of 3. Minus 5 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 7. So from here, you will get 16. 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 2, 16 minus 4 times 5, you will get 20. Plus this one, you just get 6 and 7 plus 7. So the final answer is 9. So from here, therefore, the remainder is the remainder is equal to 9. Okay. So let's go to the next example, which is when the polynomial is divided by 2x plus 1. So this is the polynomial, which is px equals 2x plus 3 minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7. So now, when the polynomial is divided by 2x plus 1. So what is the value of a? So from here, we can make it equal to 2x plus 1 
equal to 0, then we get the value of x equal to negative half. Since x is equal to a, so the value of a is negative half. the value of negative half into the polynomial. So P negative half equal to 2 times negative half to the power of 3 in the bracket minus 5 times negative half in the bracket to the power of 2 plus 3 times negative half plus 7. Then from here, you will get that negative 1 over 4 minus 5 over 4 minus 3 over 2 plus 7 is equal to 4. So the remainder is equal to 4. So that's all for today.